Users are employees at your organization that log in to LeadSquared, like sales reps, sales managers, marketeers, and administrators. In this video, we'll show you how to create users in your account. Navigate to your profile icon and click Manage Users. This is where you'll see the list of users in your account, along with basic information like their email address and roles. Click here to select the columns you want to show on the grid. Hover over the gear icon to perform quick actions on a specific user, or use the actions menu for group actions like import, export, and bulk updates. Now let's create a new user. It's mandatory to enter a first name and email address. Ensure you've entered the correct email address because you can't edit it later. Select an appropriate role Users can be of three types. A regular user can log in to both the platform and the mobile app. A mobile user can log in to only the mobile app, while a Marvin user can only log in to Marvin, Lead Squared's new Inside Sales User app. In the Reporting To field, select the User's Reporting Manager. Lead Squared automatically generates your organization hierarchy based on this user field. If you've created teams in your account, select the team here. Once you click Next, the user will receive an email invitation to log in to their LeadSquared account. Now you can move on to entering more information about your users to complete their profile. Click Edit and add more data here, like the agent phone number associated with your company's telephony or call center system, time zone, and more. Navigate to each tab to complete the user's work details, location details, permissions, other details where all the custom fields created in your account will appear, and report subscriptions where you can set users up to receive different reports based on their role. Now that your new user is created, you can edit their details at any time. If they're having trouble logging in, you can reset their password or even change it yourself. At the bottom of the page here, you'll see the limit on the number of active users you can create based on your plan. 